so there are many things that managers can start to do right now to help drive an innovation culture. In my book, The Innovation Formula, I talk about 14 of these ways, but today I'll talk about one of those ways, which is about challenge. happens when managers are thinking about assigning projects or tasks to members of their team, they'll ask the question, who has the capacity to work on this particular project? But a better question to ask is, who would feel challenged by this particular task or project? So what we know from research is one of the most important drivers of building a culture where innovation thrives is that employees feel challenged by the work that they're doing. So what I mean by challenged is where an employee doesn't feel like they could do their job with their eyes closed, so it's not super, super easy and they're suffering from boredom. And likewise, we're not talking about a, a, a huge amount of challenge where employees don't feel like they've got the skills or the resources to rise to the challenge. So we're looking for that sweet spot. If you think about it as an inverted U relationship where the best innovation performance happens where we've got a strong level of challenge, but where employees feel like they've got the skills and resources to rise to that challenge. So as a manager, thinking about when you, when you have tasks or projects to allocate to employees, ask yourself the question, who would feel challenged by this particular task or project, as opposed to just asking who's got capacity to do this? And by asking that question, you will get far more creative and innovative output from your team.